you have a GE over the stove microwave and it's not heating your food, well, let's check out the owner's manual and see what the troubleshooting section tells us about that. Okay, troubleshooting. Problem. Oven will not start. Nope. Floor of the oven is warm. Even went. Nope. Locked appears on display. Nope. You hear an unusual low beep. Nope. Sensor error. Nope. Food amount too large for sensor reheat. Nope. So none of those tell us what to do if our GE over the stove cabinet undermounted microwave does not heat the food. It turns on. It looks like it's working, but it doesn't heat the food. New one of these? Well, they can run you up to some anywhere up in the neighborhood of another brand new. $300 almost uh, for a brand new one. So uh, this, let this video uh, will take your time and we'll show you how to repair the problem yourself and save yourself some money. Okay, so what we have is another GE microwave there's the information uh, model number JVM 6175 EK 1 ES it's not uh, it's not heating the food um, so we're in the processes of uh, trying to repair it so what are you gonna do uh, first steps are you're gonna remove the bottom plate bottom cover taking out all the screws on the bottom and then you're going to remove all the screws uh, around the top and the sides and the sides of the cat of the unit of the microwave in order to remove this outer cover so we got that going for us. Uh, the bottom piece, you're gonna reach down here and you're gonna disconnect the light with this little clip. Basically you just push the clip in and disconnect. Disconnect that just like so. I'm gonna take the bottom piece off. Bottom piece comes off. It's got the light bulbs in it, stuff. Put that off to the side. And then you'll go ahead and tilt the cabinet, carefully tilt the cabinet. And what you're gonna do is then carefully tilt the cabinet back up. Okay, so once you get all the, uh, all the screws out, all the way around, keep in mind that the there's two sc screws, special screws on the back that require a, uh, I'll try to show them to you. They require a special Torx bit to, to remove them. Uh, here they are. That's kind of what they look like. They require that uh, special Torx bit. I think it's a, a T... 25 H Torx bit. Um, so then you'll, yep, you'll take all that off, and then now you remove, you remove the outer, cover, get that out of the way, and that will expose your, uh, this is usually what goes bad when they don't work, or the magnetron. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that and see if that fixes it. Um, you wanna make sure your capacitor is discharged. Uh, we'll do that with a pair of pliers. Show you how to do that. That's the capacitor right here. We'll make sure that's discharged. And we'll clean it up a little bit before we uh, put it back together. So, yep, stay tuned. Okay, so what you're gonna do next is, now that you got the cabinet apart, you got it exposed, we talked about the capacitor, you make sure this is, you know, high voltage stuff, so 
you want to make sure that uh, you discharge the capacitor. I did that by using a pair of pliers in here without touching the metal uh, piece of the pliers. And I just uh, touched the inside of the capacitor and I discharged the capacitor or make sure where it was discharged. You're going to unplug it from here. You're going to unplug the capacitor from here. You're going to take off the uh, plugs up here, which are the um, uh, thermos, thermal stat plugs or off of that sensor. This is going to get removed and get at, and get put on the new one because the new one doesn't come with that. Um, and then you're going to unscrew it and take it out from under some screws back here that we'll get. So we'll get to that and then we'll back. Okay, so you're going to, next thing you're going to do is, you, like I said, you're going to remove the magnetron. That comes out. Got the two screws that were on that side holding it. You unplug top plug and you carefully bring it out. Okay, once you get it removed, you're going to want to orientate the old one with the new one because you have to transfer over this switch this um, the plug will get transferred over to the new one okay now that it's been put it reinstalled those screws right there they're in there nice and tight Okay, they're good. All the plugs are plugged back up. And we're gonna ready, go ahead and ready and put the cover back on. Okay, old magnetron changed. Everything put back together. All the screws are back in. We tested it, it's working. New microwave, 300 bucks. Magnetron. 90. Don't be afraid to fix it yourself.